Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. This video is going to be a pretty short one. Uh, I did release the how to increase the super attack of your final form Frieza a couple hours ago. I did want to put all, I did want to put these two together uh, side by side so that way you had them so you know how to increase the super attack. Um, I'm going to mention it again in this video just in case you didn't see it so you don't have to go back and watch the entire thing. Uh, I do recommend watching that if you do want to know how to increase the super attack that freezes and which freezes you can increase the super attack with this method. Uh, so go ahead, check that out. It will. It, well, it'll be released at the same point in the time. Um, this one, we're going to be talking about the Introduce to Humiliation and Despair Freeze of Final Form. This was the reward given to the loser between the JP and the global side of Dokkan Battle for the 250 million downloads. Now, uh, quote unquote loser, because a lot of us on the global side wanted this Frieza, and that's because, uh, as mentioned before in the Super Saiyan Goku video and the uh, video where I did the increase of super attack for uh, Final Form Frieza, um, this Frieza, there's not that many Friezas in game. So, this Frieza is definitely someone who we wanted because of the fact there's not that many of them. Uh, plus, he's physical unit, so he does link with the Final Form, the full power Frieza and the Korra uh, a little bit. But um, let's go ahead and jump into it, talk about him. Uh, before we do that, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new out here. I'd really appreciate it and help sh show support of the channel. Uh, he has the same leader ability as the Super Saiyan Goku, the same super attack, and the same passive skill, uh, which is leader ability, all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%, super attack, it hurts, supreme damage to the enemy, the name's different though, <laughs> passive skill on uphill battle, key plus 3, H uh, attack and defense plus 77%, when HP 77% or below, uh, Prodigy uh, link skills are prodigies, universe most malevolent, shocking speed, strongest clan in space, and nightmare. He's part of only the Na the Planet Nam uh, Saga category. Uh, base dupe system stats are going to be HP of 5772, attack of 7041, and defense of 3105, with max base dupe system of HP 6972, attack of 7241, and defense of 4305. Not that great, but he is a free-to-play uh, unit, and if you guys are wondering, if you did not get him during the 250 million downloads event, you're not going to be able to get him again, so you will not be able to attain this unit if you did not get him. I have him on the JP side myself, uh, because I do have both accounts, I just don't play often. So I do have the reward, but you cannot get him again in the future. With that being said, he is free to play. Um, well, he, he is free to play and he is freely grindable. He cannot be used in prime battles and things like that. Um, let's see, 12 key multipliers 130% and he can have his super attack increase uh, with this freeze over here. Um, I think the only time maybe we get something else is if they ever did a revisitation on another 100 million download event or whatever it is. Um, to increase the super attack, you're going to want to go to the Inescapable Malice Frieza first form. You're going to grind this out from the OG uh, Full Power Frieza event. Um, you get him from Z Hard on the first stage. Uh, go over here to the Emperor of the Universe, the Evil Emperor of the Universe. That's this one over here with the big, uh, strong, buffed up uh, final form Frieza full power. It's going to be level 1 Fear Beyond Death, and you're going to get him from stage uh, Z on Z Hard. He drops between 0 to 2 of them. He does have a very high drop rate, so you can get him without any problems. You're going to need 3 medals per character per Frieza to Dokken Awaken him to his final form, which is the Runus Rule Frieza final form. That way you could increase the super attack. Once you do that, Z Awaken him only requires your row medals, does not require Bubbles medals, or doesn't require... Uh, Gregory medals really uh, in, in order to increase the super attack you can finally use some of them Jiro medals uh, get all of them up to uh, ultra rare and then you could increase then you could increase the super attack for a hundred percent chance uh, if you want to do it this also works for the, the other final form phrases but that's its own separate video uh, in terms of best linking now we're gonna move on to the linking guide he really uh, he only links with uh, his his other Frieza counterparts uh, so we're gonna translate this to English really quick I'm gonna switch over to the Dokkan battle builder view real quick there we go all right so uh here we go. So now we have the Frieza over here. Four link skills for the full power Frieza. Uh, Brainiacs, strongest clan in space. Uh, best of the universe, most malevolent, and nightmare. So he has uh, three attack buffs, which is 20, 35% attack buff, and two key. Not that bad. He also links with the Frieza final form for T for five link skills, which is Brainiacs, universe, most malevolent, shocking speed, strongest clan in space, and nightmare. So he has the additional for shocking speed. So this is going to be his best linking buddy. Um, I think this is a really good. I don't, I'm not going to do the, trans, the the Japanese translations right now. But the GT Frieza is going to be one of his best linking buddies, I think, in game. Yeah, so these guys are each other's best linking buddies right now. Unfortunately, this Frieza kind of sucks. So uh, you can't really do anything about that. As you see over here, there's nothing else. It's literally just ultra rare or higher um, for best linking buddies. So if you want to run these two, if you like this GT Frieza, best one to link with him is going to be this Frieza. Uh, outside of that, because he doesn't have any good passive skill, the other one's going to be this Frieza over here, which is going to link the best with uh, with a GT Frieza. So, um, but that's just that. So, I did not want to do that, actually. <laughs> but it's alright. Wow, that's, a, that's funny how uh, he doesn't show up in his best link. 
Oh, that's because he's an SSR. That's right. So uh, we're going to go over there and we're just going to go ahead. It doesn't even matter. We're going to switch over to the next view. So this is for mono physical. Uh, as we already stated, we have the final form Frieza and we have this Frieza over here. He also links with Korra. So if you're interested, let's see over here for, uh, for Korra. We have that translation in English as well. Uh, three link skills with Korra is two. It's for four key total with two link skills and universe most malevolent or yeah universe most malevolent so not horrible at least they'll be getting super attacks regularly if you're running on a double uh three key three lead uh so that they'll, they'll will have four key total so that would be what five nine key so you only need three more key in order to get uh super attack 12 or up to level 12 um that will oh no 11 yeah 11 right 10 10 you get up to 10 so you only need two key total in order to get them super attacks which is definitely a lot easier than have to go for the full path uh, so these two are going to be really good. Again, only do this if you don't have anyone else to link with any of your Frieza Force on the Mono Physical team. It, it is very viable. Last but not least, on a Planet Namek Saga team, again, Frieza Force only. We already talked about the full power Frieza. Uh, the LR Frieza and his TUR variant, he only shares two link skills with, which is going to be, I think it's Brainiacs, and then whatever the other one, Strongest strongest Clan in Space. So 15% and two key, 15% and probably going to be UR as well. Uh, there we go, yeah, yeah there you go. So uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about this card. Uh, I like him a little bit better just because he is a final form Frieza. We don't have that many of them in game. I really wish we got him on the global side, but we didn't. It's all right, though. You can increase the super attack. He's not someone who I'm going to consider that is viable to run on a team solely because of his passive skill um, of being one HP 77% or below. I feel like it, it would have probably been maybe a little bit more viable if it was 77% or above. Uh, I guess it really depends on the team you're running it on, uh, but this is definitely like an end of the first year meta, beginning of first, second year meta type of thing. Um, his leader ability is decent if you don't have any good leaders, if you're just starting the game out. All types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30% is a good way to go. Um, Supreme damage is never that horrible, but he only has that 130% multiplier, so he's not going to be doing a lot of damage. Again, good for like end of first year, beginning of second year meta at most. Uh, outside of that, it's probably not, he's definitely not going to be that viable for you. If you don't have anyone else, though, and you're looking to fill in a slot, let's say you have, like, a Rosé, and you don't have any good physical extreme units, and you're going to run him, he's not the worst, all right, because he does get an attack and defense buff, and he gives, he is self-sufficient with that key. But anyway, guys, that is it. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below, um, and uh, I'm a little bit upset again that he didn't come to Global, but whatever, right? Uh, anyway, guys, thank you again. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you all later. Peace.